Hi guys and welcome to Imbizo's Help a Sister Out. So this week we've got yet another one and before we get into it I just want to say thank you to everyone who's liked, shared and really supported the women that have been on this platform. So for the month of August, if you don't know, uh, we've opened up the Imbizo channel to feature different women that are doing amazing things towards their hustles and, you know, just getting closer to their dreams. So stay tuned um, to the Imbizo platform for the month of August and see what we have in store for you. This week we hung out with none other than Nukolo Songo also known as Noxie or the Kush Queen. She takes us through how she started her social media pages, her hopes for the future, and gives us some really great advice for all those ladies out there who want to get started. Enjoy. Hi guys, I am Noxie and I am a cannabis content creator and cannabis influencer. By profession, I am a television editor. I studied film and television at the Durban University of Technology. And I moved to Johannesburg and started my TV career. And during that that time when I was I was I was in TV, or still am, um, I actually got a job at a company called Afrocons where I worked on a very popular show called V Entertainment. And we were such a small team. Um, so I came in as an editor, but ended up getting exposed to content producing and content creating and fell in love with it just before I got a new job. Um, so before I left Afrocons, I I started to, to, to learn more about content producing. I produced my first insert and I was hooked from there. I remember my first insert was an interview with Linda Mtoba when she had just started her career in Isibaya. And I, I, I yeah. That's when I fell in love with content producing, content creating, and I knew that that's the space that I wanted to be in. From there on, I started writing, and in my writing, I ended up doing a radio drama for East Coast Radio that did very, very well called Dear Diary, which was based on true life events. And from there, it's just been one thing after another. The Kush Queen page was actually just started by my passion for cannabis. It started out small and then it just took on a life of its own. I think when I started creating videos is when I actually started seeing more engagement on my platforms and I kind of realized that, okay, this is probably the form of content that people actually love. So I started making more videos and more videos. My first collaboration was with a company called Grow With Us and they sent me a grow kit. That's when I actually started noticing that actually the work that I'm doing must be working because I mean, if people are paying attention, people are sending me stuff to actually promote. That's when I knew that I had something going. And most recently I landed my first paid partnership, which was with um, the Green Easy. And they are an amazing black owned company and they do all sorts of things from cannabis oil, CBD oil to edibles, just everything that you would need as a person to get started on your journey in cannabis without actually having to smoke if you're somebody who's very health conscious about your your lungs, which you should be. You should be health conscious about your lungs because your lungs are important. <laughs> I don't, I don't actually blame anyone who feels that cannabis is bad because of the indoctrination and things that we've been told for over 50, 100 years about cannabis and none of them have been good. So if you're somebody who feels a certain way about it, I really don't hold anything against you because it's probably coming from a place of not having enough information. And I would say follow at the Kush Queen underscore essay on IG and follow the Kush Queen essay or subscribe to the Kush Queen essay on YouTube and watch the videos and absorb the information and learn and then make an informed decision about your health and your feelings towards cannabis once you've gotten all the education that you need. I doubt you'll hate it as much as, <laughs> as you do right now if you're somebody who's totally against it. You might, you might want to watch the videos. You let me know.
My superpower as a woman has to be my drive, my tenacity, my willingness to, to win and my hunger and my passion and my independence as a female. And yeah, I just, I, I, I haven't made it anyway. I'm, I'm not the richest woman in the world, but I'm doing pretty damn good. Okay. And my drive is my superpower. In a few years time, I'd love to see the Kush Queen as an internationally recognized brand, as one of the few black female pioneers in the cannabis industry, and just, just me being out there spreading the love and the knowledge and the education and helping other black women start their own cannabis businesses. That's just my dream and that's where I wish to see the Kush Queen in, in the next, maybe let's say five, five years plus. My advice to females who want to start something is just start when I babes, just go for it. Just get all the information that you can. We are living in the age where YouTube can literally te teach us everything. Like with the internet, it's becoming harder and harder to make an excuse to not make it because information is freely and readily available for us. And I'd say if you have a dream, chase it as hard and with as much passion as you can. With as much passion that we chase these niggas out here in these streets. That's how much passion we should be putting into ourselves and our work. So you go, girl. Go for it. Just do it. You have to start. You can find me on Facebook at Noxi Ndonyama Jomanim Shongo. You could also follow me on Instagram at the Kush Queen underscore SA. I am on Twitter as well as the Kush, Kush Queen underscore SA. Um, not as active on Twitter, but I'm trying. And I'm also on YouTube as the Kush Queen SA. And you should subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks, guys.